This is my newer version of the perpetual rotating globe. And as you can see, it's a globe inside a globe. And they are acrylic spheres that you can buy from uh, Amazon. And they're generally for making Christmas bulbs out of. And the inside one has a clock in it with magnets glued to the second hand and some coins in the bottom to make weight. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, so the inside is three inches in diameter and for it to be mostly submerged it has to weigh about eight ounces. And then the outside globe is four inches in diameter. So I used Gorilla Glue to seal the seams. On the inside globe, I actually put the Gorilla Glue on the seams before attaching the two uh, globes together, the two hemispheres together. But on the outer globe, I had to attach it under water and connect the two halves of the two hemispheres together on the water. And then I would uh, glue about halfway around the top and then let that dry for an hour and then glue halfway on the bottom and let that dry for an hour. And after about an hour or two, it didn't leak at all because it will leak like a little drop every like 20 minutes. So you have to kind of do it quickly so that it doesn't leak too much out. And if you have too much water in it, it won't work. And not enough water, it won't work, obviously. So this will turn at about six, 60 seconds per rotation or one RPM. And I don't have it, I don't have the coins exactly balanced. I think I could fix that by shaking it around a little, but I'm not gonna. So it's a little delicate. Um, I'm afraid if I dropped it, it, it would definitely break and the water would leak out all over the place. There's about 14 ounces of water in there or 19 ounces. I don't know, somewhere between 14 and 19 ounces. And uh, the glue is on the outside. So the glue is not really holding those two hemispheres on the outer, uh, the outer globe together too well. It's just sealing them for leaks. But it is pretty secure. Uh, you can pick it up. I can pick it up. And I can show you the bottom. And obviously when you pick it up, it's going to, um, it's going to move a little. Let's see if I can get that back on the, uh, on the stand. So you see that magnet on the second hand kind of turning around and all that's holding that magnet on is a little piece of double sided tape. Now the, the, uh, the clockwork can be bought in a craft store for about $10 and it will run on one battery for as long as two years sometimes. So I got this off somebody on the internet who, um, who showed how to make this. And I really got curious when I saw the Mova sphere or the Mova globes, and they seem to be remarketing them now. And they're uh, very popular in the last like few uh, weeks or months. So uh, they originally came out about 16 years ago. So actually they came out 15 years ago and the person who made this actually made this like 16 years ago. So I'm kind of wondering if the guy that invented the MOVA um, globe got the idea from a person who made this with the clock. So who knows? But he says he invented it like in, he had the idea in the 1990s and he invented it in 2003. And um, his version is really nice. It's really professionally done. And he's obviously a very uh, brilliant guy. Uh, he's like an engineer and all kinds of uh, uh, 
uh, degrees and stuff, but he's an inventor. And uh, hopefully he made his money on this. They're very expensive, uh, but this one is only the, the Christmas bulbs cost uh, about $14. And you get a box of like five of each size. And then uh, the clock was like 10 bucks. The coins are only pennies and dimes and nickels. And then the, uh, the batteries, uh, the battery, one battery, and then the crazy glue and uh, double-sided tape you probably have around the house and some neom neodymium magnets. You want to use small ones because I tried with big ones and they stopped the clockwork from working. So you want to use as small as possible. That will still make it turn. So these are like three, uh, three tenths of an inch in diameter. There's four of them there, I think. So, uh, so yeah. So hope you enjoyed the video and you would like to make one of these on your own instead of spending $200 for a Mova glove. And this would be a much nicer project. There's a Gorilla super glue on the left that I used to seal it. And uh, you obviously can't use a super glue on the water. It has to be dry where you use the super glue. So, um, so just be aware of that. There are some kind of glues that you can use on the water. And obviously you can see the glue made a lot of smears. And what, what the person who made this recommended was putting a balloon around it on the inner um, ball. And I couldn't find a balloon big enough. And the only one bigger than the ones I found at Party City was like 24 inches, which was way too big. So uh, what I ended up doing, it, it leaked because the balloon did not go far enough around it. So, um, so I glued it. But I did order some, you're supposed to use 12 inch round balloons. So these, they don't make any more Party City or have them on the, um, on the counter or at the shelves. And um, so I ordered it from Amazon. So I may be making another one that'll look a little nicer. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe. I appreciate subscribers. And give me a rumble.